Hey everybody, Rudy here from Take A Bath Productions with another video helping you fix various things. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to fix this Briggs & Stratton 550EX that doesn't want to start. I'm going to give you detailed instructions on how to take apart the carburetor, clean it, and put it all back. So without further ado, let's dive right in. Alright, usually what happens to these things is, is the carburetors get some trash in them. Um, these plastic carburetors are real finicky. Um, these bolt heads are 5 16 on the top. Just get this puppy out of the way. Uh, I've already undone the rope, so this will just come right out and set it aside. Alright, next you're going to want to take the air cleaner off. And these two outer bolts here and here are 5 16 Just set them aside. And the two inner ones are 7 millimeter. Don't ask me why they decided to make those two different sizes, but they did. Alright, pull this out. Watch the breather tube behind it. Okay, so more than likely your gas tank is probably contaminated with something. It could be, it might not be. But um, most of the time when I clean these carburetors out, I take the gas tank and drain the gas out into something appropriate. And then um, I flush the gas tank out with a water hose just to get any contaminants out of there. And then of course I let it dry before I put it back. So it does make it easier to get the fuel line off with the gas tank off so since we're going to take it off anyway there we go and uh, get the clamp the carburetor popped itself out of there as you can see get the clamp off and then just kind of clamp the uh, fuel line and pull just like so and we're going to set the gas tank aside um, all I'm going to do with this gas tank is I'm going to drain it and I'm going to flush it with a water hose and I'm going to let it dry. So I'm not going to show that part because it's pretty self-explanatory. And just try to be careful with these linkages. That's the choke and here's the throttle governor. Alright, the carburetor is free. I'll be back. All right, once you get the carburetor freed up, it's probably a good idea to put a rag under it because there's gas in the bowl, and uh, these bowl bolts are seven millimeter. Get those two out and then kind of gently pry up against there. But there you go. And there's the gas coming out. All right, so this one doesn't look too bad. It must have probably had some trash in it. Um, just pop this uh, bowl out of the way. Float, I mean. And if it's dirty, just take some compressed air and some carburetor cleaner and squirt it. And uh, that's all you have to do with that. Uh, by the way, when, when you take the bowl out, make sure not to lose the uh, needle that's in the bottom of the bowl right there. Alright, this little white piece in the middle is your jets and emulsion tube and all that stuff. If you notice, there's a, uh, there's a black rim around it right here, and there's a little gap right in between here and, and there. So you can use that to pry against when you take this out. So kind of just stick the screwdriver right in there just like that and pry up using that space right there. And there you have it. Emulsion tube came out. And this emulsion tube is in two sections. Pry this other section apart right here.
just like that. You see all these little holes right here? I don't know if you can see that or not, but there's some little holes right here that uh, need to be cleaned out. So what I usually do with these is I use a little uh, torch head cleaning set like this and just find the right one that fits through there and just clean these out. This one up here is a little smaller. Just like so. Run one down through the middle. Just to make sure it's free. And don't forget about this little jet here. Now after you get done doing that, spray it with some carburetor cleaner and some compressed air and that'll clear out anything else. And also there's another little jet in the bottom of this piece that we took off earlier. So just make sure that that's free too. Alright, I'm going to go blow that out and I'll be right back. Alright, got it all blowed out. Just put these two pieces back together, just like that. There we go. It's a little tight, so be careful not to break it. And also, when you're using the air compressor, make sure you don't lose these rubber seals right here. Now, there's one thing that I wanted to tell you guys. Um, when you put this thing back, I had this happen to me on one and it, I had a heck of a time trying to figure it out. Um, before you put that back anyway, take your air, compressed air, and blow through any of these little holes that you see over here. Just any little hole that you see, just blow through it. Um, if you blow through the fuel one, be real careful you don't blow anything out from here. It's better to blow from this way going out that way than it is that way. Um, but anyway, this middle hole right here, in here, I don't know if it's showing up or not, but right in, and there's three holes. In the middle hole, there's a little plastic piece that if you open the choke and look in there, this little piece right here came loose on me. It's, a little, it's hard to see in there, but there's a little plastic piece right there. It's like a little venturi going through that passageway. It came loose, and what happened was, is when it came loose, it obstructed that middle hole, and I couldn't push that uh, emulsion tube back down in there to save my life. I couldn't figure out what was going on. So if, if you're having a problem getting that to push back in there, check that middle hole and make sure that it's clear. Right now it is clear, so we're going to put that back, just like so, and press it in. That's it, it should go in that easy. Alright, I'm going to put the float back in there and put the cover back on. Okay, before you put the bowl back, it's probably a good idea to clean that out, make sure there's nothing in there. And um, see this part right here is sticking up. That's going to go into this indentation on the bowl, so make sure that you, when you put that together, you turn it just the right way so that falls down in there. To get the screw head holes lined up, just squeeze it back on there.
works like a champ. All right, guys, if you enjoyed this video, click on that thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I come out with videos like this as often as I can. Thanks for watching.